So the Everest is next, it's a six furlong on Group 1. And quite a few of these this week. And finest moment at the top for David Hooley, the insatiable motivator, Leon van Rensburg, Lechang Colonel, Vinnie Gerard, Midnight Rain for David Hooley, Monden Shin for Padre Gogan, Valdemar Fling and Alhambra for Darren Thompson, Kate Marino, David Robertson, Eyes Wide Open, Craig Allen, Sirens, Flowers, Leon Van Rensburg, Retail Dimension, Craig Allen, The Big Wind, Patrick Hogan, Countess Celine for Paul Rhodes, Duck Hunter, Joshua Sutherland, Paranormal Goddess, Paul Rhodes, and Pucian Marion for Vinnie Gerard. So a big field of 16 in this then. And away they go. And sort of explains why the other six furlong Group 1 races earlier in the week were a little short on numbers and only one for this one which is worth a fortune I think and it's Alhambra who was probably just in the lead then Valdemar Fling has now come through that one stable mate and that one's now in the lead one or two of these are going to be caught wide on the turn whether that'll make a difference or not we'll see at the end but uh, Midnight Rain for David Hooley is about eight horses wide at the moment also wide as Insatiable Motivator like Sirens Flowers who's now just about in front Alhambra Kate Marino's up there as well so is Valdemar Fling then Eyes Wide Open Insatiable Motivator Monda Shin has got a good position and Countess Celine's going to try and slip up the inside and as we see them from the other side you can see that Vinnie Gerard's Lech and Colonel's got absolutely no chance you'd think from there and it's now into the final two furlongs they go and it's Valdemar fling in front but here comes his stable mate Alhambra Alhambra the big gun on the outside then coming through now but it's Valdemar fling in front Alhambra is in second Kate Marino Midnight Rain Lech and is fl clearly flying so too is and Marion but it's going to be Valdemar fling and Alhambra as they race down the water line here comes Mondish down and Alhambra Lech Lechan Colonel, Lechan Colonel and Alhambra as they flash past the post, Lechan Colonel, how did Lechan Colonel win from there, now Vinnie Gerard is going to be the champion trainer then, that's what a champion trainer can do, but Alhambra I think has just held on, it's close, it could well be a dead heat this, and it is, it's a, it's a dead heat, Alhambra and Lechan Colonel, and Lechan Colonel was so far wide on that last turn, you wouldn't have given it a chance at all, but he came in nicely. Look at that, 16th, 14th on those two fur, two furlong, four furlong positions. But anyway, let's <laughs> I'll start rambling. It's pretty exciting stuff because it's Alhambra and Lechan Colonel sharing the spoils. Darren Thompson and Vinnie Gerard are going to finish first and second in the championship. It's pretty obvious now that Vinnie Gerard is going to win it, I think, because I can't see Darren Thompson fighting back, getting five winners in the last. 10 races or so, so it looks like it's Vinnie Gerard's title, but Darren Thompson has had a good season as well, he's also taken third there for Valdemar Fling Paranormal Goddess of Paul Rhodes was fourth and Mondenshin for Padraig Hogan fifth, but that race was worth a ridiculous amount of money like nearly 600,000 quid, so Vinnie Gerard might only be getting half of that but he'll also get half of the second, won't he so I think he's just about, just about sewn up the money battle as well